Well, more Californians these days are driving fuel efficient vehicles, which means people are buying a lot less gas and the state is not collecting as much fuel tax as it had. And that's what pays for highway maintenance. And now the state is looking for another way to fund those repairs. Brian Hickey explains what the idea is, Brian. Yeah, of course, it's no secret here in California. We pay some of the highest gas taxes in the country. So when you step up to the pump for every gallon you buy, you're paying about 50 cents on the gallon. But now the state saying that people are buying less fuel. They are now looking at a way of charging you by the mile that you drive instead. They say that'll be a more equitable way and more sustainable way to continue funding highway maintenance. The money collected uh, does fix California's roads. According to Caltrans, a study, uh, study from Caltrans, the average Californian pays $280 a year in state gas taxes as California leads the way towards more fuel efficient cars and cars that don't use gas at all like electric cars tax revenues for the roads have been falling so they are looking at a road charge that instead bills drivers by the miles that they drive how it would be collected and what that fee would be is all part of a pilot program that begins in January with this pilot program uh, we'll analyze ways to do that that range from uh, the pay at the pump system that they're used to, but they'd be paying for miles instead of the gas, but they would still pay at the pump. Or um, as some insurance companies have already explored, having them pay by the miles uh, that they drive. Well, Caltrans says it's a program that Oregon does already. They're being uh, quite successful at that program. And so they're currently looking at trying to bring something like that to California. But to do so, they want to make sure that they get feedback. And they're looking for volunteers to take part in the pilot program that begins in January. If you want more information, you can check out their website. And if you do volunteer and give them feedback, they say they'll give you about $100 in incentives to take part. In Sacramento, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News.